grow your practice, grow your wealth, grow your impact. Find out how to spend less time in the dental chair and more time on the things you love. All right, welcome back. This is the Dental Wealth Podcast, the one and only podcast committed to keeping dentistry in the hands of dentists. And we've got a great show for you today. If you've listened to the last two episodes, what we started to, to do is to dive into numbers. So <clears throat> I wanted you to see, we kind of talked about 401k and why it's, it's better to invest inside the walls of your practice. Start talking about money. And you know, as we go through more and more of these episodes, I'm going to share more of those numbers with you because I think you need to know that. Remember, most accountants are focused on taxes and expenses and making sure that you pay your taxes on time and cutting your bills. Um, most financial advisors are shoving money into uh, investments outside of your practice. I want to show you how to invest inside the walls of your dental practice. If you can learn how to do that and you can learn how to do it well, you can create a phenomenal amount of wealth and impact. Uh, the people that listen to this podcast are people that are trying to be the top 1%, trying to move your practice to the next area, to the next place. We're seeing a lot of consolidation in the industry, seeing a lot of people having to uh, raise their game. And so in this podcast, I want to show you exactly how to do that, how to raise your game how to be the top 1%, how to grow your practice. It doesn't matter where you're at. Uh, I've got people that you know have locations with 24 operatories, 28 operatories and on. Uh, I have some people come to me, they're struggling, trying to get to the next level. Everything I go over is going to help you do that. Um, as I go through this podcast today, I was thinking about a conversation I had last weekend. It's kind of a neat conversation. So as oral surgeon and I sat down um, at, at a club and started having this conversation about consulting and, and what consulting goes over. And this has everything. And this podcast today has everything to do with wealth and creating wealth. And I want you to kind of understand where it starts. So this uh, gentleman's practice, they have six locations. So I would say successful guy, right? And he said, I've, I've probably spent hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars on consulting. And I've realized something. After spending so much money on on people coming in and putting systems and processes that don't stick in place. The number one thing I've got to do and I've got to get better at is being a better CEO. So you've got to be better CEO. And he said the other thing, which is probably even more profound, is that I don't have a vision. So I don't even know where I'm going. I don't know where my practice is going. Now, think about this for a second. Six locations and you're not sure where your business is going. So what's the next step for that business? Do you take on another location? Uh, matter of fact, some of the ideas he threw out during this conversation, I started thinking to myself, man, that's taking you way off path and you make a lot more money doing, or investing back into your, into your practice. So when you're listening to this right now, I need you to understand a few things, okay? If you wanna create a phenomenal amount of wealth inside of your business, the first thing you gotta do is figure out where you're going. If you do not know where you're going, you'll, I'm just telling you, how are you going to get there? Now, it seems an easy concept. So when I talk about uh, vision and creating vision for your life and for your business, it's easy to tune this out. When, when you talk about vision, people will lump vision into things like uh, core values and um, mission statements and just kind of throw it in a binder like it's not important. But it's interesting with this practice, there's five doctors that make decisions. So kind of like a five-headed CEO. Now, this five-headed CEO, sit, they all sit in a room together and think about the, the brain power that's in that room, five people. Now, you would say that's a successful practice, but believe it or not, they're not even close to touching the scale of where they can be. That practice, if they had clear vision, if they really knew that where they were going, so we could do some phenomenal things. We could, I mean, maybe they want to go national. Maybe they want to get into different areas. Maybe they want to shrink. I mean, maybe they've got too many locations. See, where do you put the capital and where do you put the resources? Where should they invest? Should they reinvest back? Matter of fact, in one of the conversations we ended up having, they were telling me where they were putting some money and I just I kind of shook my head and I knew that they were going in the completely wrong direction. I'm going to help them with that. But I need you to understand that if you're going to get this practice where you need to, if you want to create dental wealth, if you want to create ultimate wealth, if you want to have all the things you've ever wanted to have, believe it or not, you got to start with vision. So I would encourage you as you're listening to this, like I would pause it if you need to. I would grab a piece of paper and a pen 
By the way, this exercise isn't going to be quick. Uh, if you can do this in about 20 seconds, um, I would probably tell you to start all over again. And I would write down. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down like a 10 year, 10 years from now, where are you going to be? Now, when I tell you to do this, what I want you to understand is in 10 years from now, what are you driving? Like where are your kids going to school? What house do you live in? Do you have like a lake house? Do you have a beach house? Who are you impacting? God, you can even think like, how are you getting to work? Is like a helicopter picking you up and like taking you to your office? Um, are you getting on a private jet? Are you still flying coach? Are you in the back of the back of the bus? Right? Are you in the back of the plane, the, the last person that you know ends up sitting by the lavatory? Uh, you don't want to be that person. If, if you get and nothing else from this, this uh, podcast, don't be the person in the back of the plane that has to sit in the lavatory. Matter of fact, I'm going to even go stretch, stretch further. If you ever end up in the back of a plane by the lavatory, I want you to ask yourself what decisions you have not made correctly because <laughs> something's wrong. I told myself a long time ago, I said, you know, I won't fly unless I can fly first class. And if I were you, I'd hold yourself to the same standards. And maybe that's first class, or maybe that's private, or maybe it's just economy comfort for now, but I would tell you this much. You gotta set higher ex expectations for yourself. So start out, where are you gonna go? Maybe you do need to set a line in the sand and say, I will never, ever fly coach ever again. And that's a financial mindset. It's a financial mindset and thinking, I will work hard enough to make sure I can make that happen. I just took my kids over to England. We all flew first class, and I think you should hold yourself at least to the same standard. So know where you're going in 10 years. Know what you're driving. Now, you, you, you might not want a nice car. I mean, that's maybe not your thing, but that's okay. You need to also think about maybe who you can impact. Uh, what is your, how many locations do you have? What does your team look like? I think if you don't know that, how are you ever going to get there? Because the next thing I want you to do is I want you to take that 10 year and I want you to drag it down to five year. So what would you have to do in the next five years to make sure you're on pace for that 10 year goal? What would have to happen? What would have to be true? What would you have to do as far as your mindset, your leadership skills? What kind of team would you need to bring around you? Would you need a higher COO of your practice? Would you need to raise your leadership game? Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you're listening to this podcast, Nine out of 10 of you listening to this right now need to absolutely change your leadership game. You're not even sure how to lead people. You're not even sure what position of leadership you're in. Um, and we got to help you move that because if you want to create a massive amount of wealth, the first thing you have to do is become a phenomenal leader. You have to understand the value of time and you have to get the right people doing the right things in your practice. One of the reasons why when we come into a practice, we start setting up leadership teams is because most practices count on the doctor doing everything. And the problem is that's not scalable. That doesn't create wealth. Believe it or not, you should have a practice where you can practice when you want to. If you're listening to this right now and you have to go to work and you have to be there four or five days a week and you can't take the time off, then I would tell you right now that you're an employee and that your business is not built to last and it's not scalable. And so we need to go to work and one of the first places we need to go to work is on you and creating a better leader, making you a better leader. We're gonna talk about that in the Dental Wealth Podcast. A lot of times I'm gonna to talk to you about different levels of leadership and where you can move your leadership skills so you can be the CEO that you need to be, get you out of doing things that are not your passion and unique ability. Now I want you to take it down to three-year goal. Jump into the three-year. Hey, what does it need to be like? In three years, what does my life need to look like? If I was gonna be on pace for that five-year goal, what would I need to do in the next three years. But I want you to be specific. Don't start getting lazy on me. Don't start writing down, um, I just want to drive a nice car. What kind of car, right? What do you want to be dressed in? What do, you know, I, I like nice things. I mean, it changes your mindset. We were just having a conversation before I started this podcast about when I opened my wallet, you know, people think that the ones should be on the outside. Well, I, to me, if I open up my wallet and all I see is ones, what does that tell me from a mental state? Um, probably doesn't do a lot for me. So same thing with your list. You need to be powerful with a list. You need to have a list that you can look at and inspire you and make you want to move and do great things. Once you get your three-year, do your one-year. Get your one-year list down. Write down, hey, listen, in the next year, where am I going to be in 12 months? I will tell you this, my business grew 10 times over the last year. 
When was the last time your business grew 10 times in one year? See, I would encourage you that if you're not thinking that big, if you don't think, think about what you're doing today. That's right. If you're doing a million dollars in revenue, yeah, what would it take to get you to 10 million? Now, it's a dental practice. You think, well, I can't do that. You'd be surprised how quickly I can turn you into a $10 million practice. You just have to be thinking bigger. And what if you just hit 70% of that goal? So what would that do for your family? What would that do for your ability to not sit by the lavatory, right? <laughs> I mean, what would that do for your mental state? You might be not taking first class. You'll be flying private possibly, right? The amount of creation. I mean, don't look at wealth as greed. And I will tell you right now, if you get to know me, when I talk about wealth, I don't mean greed. No, I don't mean greed. I don't mean go out and buy yourself a bunch of stuff and, you know, and, and be selfish. I mean, look... The people who impact the most people in this world are the people that have created wealth. They've created institutions where they have the ability to go give back and impact others. You want to make a difference in people's life? Go create wealth. Create foundations. Create the ability to make an impact. And that's what I'm going to challenge you to do through this podcast. You got to get your head on and you got to get your mind right if you want to make an impact in this world. The person who comes to me and says, hey, listen, I just want to retire. I just want to retire, Eric. I'll be honest with you, this might be the wrong podcast for you. You might just want to like turn it off, okay? Because this is people who think bigger. I want people listening to the podcast who think bigger. The idea, the, the, just the pure idea that your only goal, that your only goal in life is to sit in a damn chair and stare at the walls and like hopefully you don't outlive your money. I mean, I'm, I don't, it doesn't matter what your faith is. I believe that God created us to do bigger things than to not outlive our money. We begin this amazing abilities. If you're listening to this and you're a dentist, it means you're talented, you're intellectual, you're intelligent. You, you should be using those skills to do amazing things. And there's an argument to say, if you're not using them, you might even be unethical. Am I saying that? I absolutely am because I'm encouraging you to take the skill sets that you've been given and put them to use. If you can take this practice 10 times and you don't, even worse word, you won't, don't might mean you just, you know, you're careless. Won't probably means you're stubborn. Listen, here's what I'm going to tell you. If you want to create a phenomenal amount of wealth, you got to commit to it. And this is part of it. We're going to walk you through a process because when you figure out those one-year goals, when you get those one-year goals down, then what you can do is you can try to take them to build out quarterly goals. How are you building out quarterly goals right now? I mean, that's just something you're writing down. It doesn't even make sense. Well, and by the way, if you looked at your practice this year and you said, I want to go from a million to like a million one, can you just start over? Yeah, every time I see that, like somebody comes in and I sit, sit down with a dentist and they show me like their goal is like go from a million to a million one, I just like start the whole conversation over again. I had a guy <clears throat> about a year ago, we sat down and he I said, what's your 10 year goal? And I think he was basically doing a million dollars. And so he wanted to take it from a million to like 1.25. <laughs> I told him, you're going to really like working with me. <laughs> And by the way, within literally that same day, he figured out how to get there within like within a year, by the way. And I think he got there in six months. So look, you got to think bigger. Let me challenge you today as you're listening to this. I'm not beating you up. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to make decisions that will change your life and those around you. Don't waste this amazing talent you have. So we're going to create wealth. We're going to go impact a heck of a lot of people. Yeah, if you want to buy nice things, that's great. Take care of yourself and your family and create experiences. That's some of the first people we impact. But listen, last two podcasts, I showed you how just a simple move can make a huge return in your practice. I need you to understand as you're listening to this now. If you'll follow this podcast, if you'll subscribe, if you'll listen every week. Matter of fact, make a, at least a commitment towards that, right? <laughs> I'm, I've got this podcast down to about 15 minutes. If you're not willing to commit 15 minutes of knowledge that I'm handing to you once a week, then you've got to question your commitment towards your family and your goals and where you're going. So make the commitment, hit subscribe, subscribe to this podcast, be a part of this. I'm going to help you grow and I'm going to change your mindset. I'm going to be doing amazing things. But here it is. Start with vision. This week, I want you to do is I want you to start with vision. When you go back 
If you're married, sit down with your spouse. Have this conversation. Where are we going, sweetie? Where are we going with our family? Where are we going with our goals? If you haven't done your business, start. I would tell you right now, on our walls, we have our 10-year goal, five-year goal, three-year goal, you know, one-year goal, quarterly goals. I want you to do the same thing for your practice. Get excited. This podcast is going to help you change, and I'm going to give you tools, and I'm going to talk to you about different things that you can get engaged in through Tower Leadership and through my services that can help you absolutely move the needle, change your life, impact those around you. That's what this podcast is about. We're going to make an impact and create a tremendous amount of wealth. I cannot wait to help you on this journey. You guys have an awesome week, and we'll see you soon.